Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. No video yesterday because we're experiencing here in East Tennessee, the polar vortex like much of middle America. We lost power for many hours yesterday and internet for like 13 and a half. Then we lost power again last night and we lost power again today. Um, so just this area's infrastructure isn't quite made for high winds in winter, I guess, but here we are. I wanted to bring this to you yesterday, but couldn't because it was minus 11 outside, so I wasn't gonna stand out there with a the camera. But uh, this is big news from Firearms Policy Coalition, re, uh, specifically the Vanderstock case in trying to get rid of the ATF's new frame receiver rule. Before I jump into that, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's the USCCA. I've been a card carrying member for several years, as has my wife and soon to be my oldest son, is something I use and uh, I believe in the programs. It has a lot of training and education, and then when you become a member, you get a lot of good benefits, like you got that uh, insurance for issues around self-defense, and it doesn't have to be armed self-defense. Uh, also, I wanna remind you all that every new member who signs up in the month of December gets the Otis Cleaning Kit and Platinum and Elite members get the survival kit. All you gotta do to check it out is hit that link in the description. It is uscca.com slash GNG. Not only does it help the channel out, but it also helps you out because you'll have all the information in which you can decide if you wanna join. And I highly recommend it. If you carry a gun for self-defense, you should have the USCCA uh, having your back. And if you find out it's not for you, then you get a money back guarantee as well. All right, guys, let's talk about this case, the Vanderstock case. We've talked a lot about it on this channel. It is a huge issue. It is a challenge in the Texas Federal District. Uh, the FPC is looking to have this new frame receiver rule that the ATF has mushed together and pushed out because Biden wants to restrict the Second Amendment, ghost guns. Uh, we've been able to build our own firearms in this country since before it was a country. It's always been a thing. It's something that the Democrats, and not just the Democrats, but the anti-gunners, because there's anti-gunners on both sides of the aisle. It's something that they've kind of gone after the last three, five years-ish. It's almost like they just learned about it. And we just lost power again. Ugh. <laughs> We're going to do the rest of my cell phone here by this window, because Lord knows how long I'm going to be without power this time. This is... I know it's not Tennessee's fault, it's the storm and the high winds, but man, what a first impression. On the screen is the first page of the filing for this uh, challenge in which uh, a Firearms Policy Coalition is looking to have the final rule vacated and the enforcement stopped. Here's the introduction. Under the United States Constitution, Congress, not the President, and his subordinate agencies maintains all legislative powers of the federal government. Here, though, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, the ATF, and the Department of Justice, DOJ, agencies usurped those powers when they promulgated the final rule. In doing so, the agencies admitted to seizing the power of the pen from Congress because Congress failed to enact the president's desired policy objectives or to fulfill his campaign promise to stop the proliferation of so-called ghost guns. The constitutional coup produced the final rule before this court one that violates both the Administrative Procedure Act, the APA, and the Constitution. When evaluated against the requirements of the APA, the final rule fails repeatedly. First, by going beyond the bounds of the Gun Control Act of 1968, the agencies exceeded their statutory authority. Second, the agencies flouted the APA's prescribed process when they materially changed the final rule and its bases and ignored public comment. Third, the agencies acted arbitrarily when they failed to adequately explain the reversal of their prior application and enforcement of the Gun Control Act and failed to consider important aspects of the problem. The final rule also violates constitutional requirements and principles. The final rule is unconstitutionally vague because it fails to give understandable notice to regulated persons. Further, the final rule violates the First Amendment by restricting and chilling speech based on both the speaker and the context. Finally, by legislating where Congress chose not to, the agencies violate both the delegation doctrine and the take care clause. The final rule, substantive and procedural flaws cannot be cured. Plaintiffs respectfully request that this court vacate the final rule and enjoin its enforcement. Well, obviously my plan for the rest of this video has changed. 
Um, so I will link this down below. I have skimmed through it, it's 66 pages. And from what I've read so far, it's very well done. And this, uh, this could happen quickly. So please, if you want information, you wanna help this channel, I know I wish you could help me get power back, but uh, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channels you watch helps the channels immensely here on this platform. Also liking the videos and sharing the videos as well as commenting helps in the YouTube algorithm, which we all know is anti-gun. And we've heard about the shadow ban thanks to Elon Musk. And if you don't think it's happening on this platform, you must not be, must not be paying attention. So I will have some more news today. I was going to do some more information on another case that is happening. Uh, but this is going to, this could go quickly. But I think I need to tell you this. I can't say specifics because I know something that I can't say. I was sworn to secrecy. But subscribe to this channel because you're going to have information in a couple days that we've been waiting for. And is quite frankly going to probably anger people for the holidays. So subscribe to Guns and Gadgets. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Tomorrow is Christmas. Merry Christmas, y'all. And to those who are like me and want to stay in the void and protect society, check out uscca.com slash g and I'll see you on the next one, y'all. Take care.